Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings in the show this week. Champion trainer Jason Acosta lands his first Jamaica two-year-old stakes win in a surprise score for his 9-1 entry. Interesting times ahead. At the Garrison Savannah, Barbados Lottery Trophy win for Sir David Seal's Renaissance Frolic that clinches the trainer's title for Andrew Nunes. While in TNT, it's that champion combination again, jockey brand Boodram Singh and a trainer John Abran linking up for a big Gold Cup triumph. And at Gulfstream Park, more sunshine for Barbadian champion trainer Safi Joseph Jr. in the sunshine state. Our opening story in the last At The Track show for 2023 from Jamaica. Holiday Racing's biggest Caymanis Park attraction this week was the Jamaica two-year-old stakes. The Boxing Day feature with 10 starters going a mile and worth a hefty 4 million Jamaican dollars. Leading trainer Jason Acosta with six starters, his most fancied entries, number two come home to me at seven to two, and horses seven and eight, fast and furious links at five to one, and the seven to one bet, Banadura. It's Richie Azan's nine horse, Miss Cherry the favorite though, at two to one. Number five, Matuso, and number six, interesting times ahead. The only Colts in the field among the Philly dominated entries as we join Brian Rickman's call down the back stretch. Banadura out in front, tested by Matuso, ahead separates them, they fly past the six. Come home to me, races next, some three lengths back with Run Julie, run for company. Fast and Furious links races up next, in behind those, that's interesting times ahead. A break of two back to Rosetta, they leave the five. Buttercup races on the outside, beginning to make ground, Lucy in the sky, a Miss a Cherry just toward the back and now asked to improve as they arrive at the half mile and speed will now be added to the race as they run the turn. Banadura trying to slip away from horses. Run Julie Run now moves quickly down into second and chasing Matusa fading back just a bit. Interesting times ahead wound up for Run. Dust on the outside, that fast and furious links. Come home to me, races with Lucy in the sky. Miss Cherry has a lot to do from there along with Buttercup and forget Rosetta at the moment as the field turned for home in the Jamaica two-year-old stakes. They leave the top of the lane and run, Julie run now, scoots through and grabs the lead. Interesting times ahead, down against the rail. It's run, Julie run, tackled now by interesting times ahead and interesting times ahead, kicks and gets that lead. Run, Julie run, left a length and a half back. It's interesting times ahead inside the final 16th who holds the advantage under the bustling Philip Parchment. They win the Jamaica two-year-old stakes. The richest two-year-old event in Jamaican racing at just over 25,600 US dollars. Philip Parchment aboard the winning cold. Interesting times ahead by Bold Conquest out of the He's the Real Thing mare, my friend Lucy. Trainer Da Costa's first two-year-old stakes win this after getting second last year with Mamma Mia. Liz the Costa's interest in times ahead at 9 to 1 odds, conditioned by her son Jason in only his second full season as a Caymanis Park trainer. And he is 1 3 here with his 5 to 1 shot. Fast and Furious Links third. Run Julie Run second at 7 to 2. The winning time for a mile 1 minute 39 and 2 fifths of a second. Saturday's main event on Jamaica's holiday weekend card was the Chris Almond Memorial Sprint. She's My Destiny, the defending champion and odds on favorite. But it's Emperor of the Cats boasting a two-race winning streak in control coming off the final bend. They're about to come into the lane in the Christopher Chris Armand Memorial Sprint Trophy. They're into it now and Emperor of the Cats continues to deny them. Freedom Street is on the rail. She's my destiny and the big weight racing behind. American Tap is toward the outside but Emperor of the Cats continues to pour it on under full power. Emperor of the Cats leads by four or more inside the final 16th. This is the Christopher Chris Armand Memorial Sprint Trophy. They won't deny Emperor of the Cats and Shavon Towns and they win by maybe three. Third win in a row this for the four-year-old gelding, Emperor of the Cats, claiming apprentice Siobhan Townsend aboard for owner, trainer and breeder Carl Anderson. As the 2-1 second favourite, Emperor of the Cats, the 2000 Guinness third placer last year, gets career win number 10 from 20 starts, chased by Freedom Street with a favourite She's My Destiny third, 106 flat the winning time for the 5.5 furlong Chris Almond Memorial Sprint. Barbados' 2023 season closed with Tuesday's Boxing Day card, the Barbados Lottery Trophy as the main event. And the Ireland-bred So Suave, who was third in the Sandalane Gold Cup in March, was the even money favourite. A five-horse field going 7.8 furlongs and Darbo winning jockey Ray Williams eyeing a front-running win was still setting the pace mid-race with a multiple stakes winner in the USA, Renaissance Frolic, watched in the combox by Dean Springer. 
Renaissance Frolic has gone on and opened up a four length advantage to Bajan Azteca. So Suave has begun her run. Zaid under the pump, vividly hard ridden. They come inside the three flow marker. And it's Renaissance Frolic who's in front by a length and a half from on the outside. So Suave vividly trying desperately to close. Zaid has had enough and so too has Bajan Azteca. And there are no more turns, and Renaissance Frolic has come to the front on the inside, vividly trying to close. So Suave on the outside runs battled out. It is Renaissance Frolic on the left hand drive. Uh, Doc Swicks it out, starts to punch him out. Vividly with one last desperate search. Inseparable! Lots of life still in these old legs. The 80 year old Renaissance Frolic narrowly fends off the late rush from top jockey Rashid Hughes aboard vividly to score. A winner of three stakes races at Florida's Gulfstream Park in his younger days, Renaissance Frolic, unplaced in two San Delane Gold Cup outings, sixth in 2020 and fourth this year, gets his second win in four starts at the garrison. Both these wins in the hands of Ray Williams, who spoke post-race to George Davis. Uh, first of all, I want to say thanks to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for taking me around there safe and for this opportunity. Uh, the plan was, I knew they had a bit of speed on the inside, so I knew he, he doesn't need the lead, he's not a... A crack front runner so uh, I plan to just let him break let him see where he's comfortable and I always thought that maybe the horse would clear away but he got so close to them he was just trying, kind of fighting me the whole way so I took the initiative I thought it was the best horse in the race so I rode him like that and I also put him in front he relaxed beautifully he cleared away from the field so I was just hoping that when I asked him for again he would give me the confidence to go on again and that's exactly what he did. Sir David Seals Renaissance Frolic by a nose in the Barbados Lottery Trophy feature edging vividly at the finish. The joint two to one second favorites fighting it out. The favorite so suave a fairly close up third. 138.6 to the winning time for 7.8 furlongs in a result that clinched the trainers championship for Andrew Nunes, the Jamaican second title in three years. At TNT Santa Rosa Park on Tuesday, the Boxing Day feature was, as usual, the Gold Cup. And as usual, a very strong hand for the champion trainer, John O'Brien, starting five of the eight entries, including last year's winner, Crown Prince. O'Brien was, in fact, eyeing his fourth consecutive win in the Gold Cup and his entries after dominating the betting Hello World, the favorite Crown Prince, Soka Harmony, and this year's Triple Crown winner in the headlines, the second, third, and fourth favorites, proceeded to control the 10 furlong run picked up in the com box by John Rupert leaving the back stretch. Come out from the far turn and it's in the headlines the leader Crown Prince is second, Hello World and Soka Harmony. These two are moving as a team. Then comes Just Exhale. After Just Exhale is making headlines, the two trailers are Princess Aruna and Stroke of Luck at the top of the stretch in the Gold Cup. And in the headlines is holding them sway. Crown Prince is coming on. Coming up the rail now is Hello World who gets a dream run. Soka Harmony is throwing it down inside the final 200 meters. And Hello World is coming away. Crown Prince is in second. Then comes Soka Harmony. But Hello World is going to get his grade one success. What a fine run from Hello World under Brand Bootram Singh, who with a Tuesday triple clinched a fifth consecutive jockey's title despite missing almost six months of the season while riding in Canada. An early season injury had scuppered Hello World's triple crown bid, missing the Guinness and then runner up to stablemate in the headlines in the Derby and the Midsummer Classic. But he has no equal here as trainer Brand makes it four Gold Cup wins in a row after making headlines, affirmative and crown prince. The Poon Tip Stud Farms Hello World in his first grade one triumph, scoring by three and three quarter lengths as the even money favorite ahead of Crown Prince and 2022 Derby winner Soka Harmony in a 1-2-3 sweep for champion trainer Brand. 209.38 the winning time for the 10 for long goal. To Florida now where the Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. is closing the Gulfstream Park racing year in 2023 the way he started it. A champion winning stakes races. Kenneth Ramsey's grey filly B My Sunshine was a moderately backed 8 to 1 bet for Safi Joseph in Saturday's Tropical Park Oaks. But under Edgar Sass, maneuvered well from post position 11 in the 12 horse field, was always traveling smoothly in the mile and 16th run, and is about to charge into a winning rail run here under the champion jockey. They run to the top of the stretch. They stack four across the course from the inside. It's Speed Trap, the leader. Be My Sunshine got through. Breath away down the center. Startup mentality. Alpha Bella running home with an eighth of a mile to go. Be My Sunshine roused forward to take the lead on the outside. Breath away from between Alpha Bella.
They come home for the wire. Be my sunshine. Still there. Breath away surging. Safi's 180th victory this for 2023 in his second best season and win since moving to Florida in 2011. Be My Sunshine gives the Barbadian 36-year-old trainer his 16th stakes win this term, a winner by a head in the $125,000 Tropical Park Oaks, clocking 139.34 for the 8.5 furlong turf run. And before we go, a stakes win to report for the Barbadian jockey Rocco Poin. No Caricom rider has more wins in 2023 in North America than he has. Aboard the 1 to 9 favorite shadowy for trainer Tim Ham, Boyn was a huge 8.5 length winner of the Joshua Rodasovich Memorial Stakes for two year olds. Shadowy won the $75,000 event over six furlongs in 112.13, giving Boyn his 99th win of the year. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Thanks for joining us for all of 2023. A happy new year to you now and check us out again next week.